Hello everyone, welcome to Anime No Me, and thank you for joining us for another One Piece video. Now that we've had the full leaks for chapter 1057 of One Piece released, we're going to take some time to go through each of the events that are detailed, and we'll also talk about what we can expect now that all the conflicts in Wano have finally come to an end, what may happen to everyone that's left with the citizens of Wano, and where our Straw Hat crew is off to next. As with all our leak videos, please remember that these are just leaks, and we may not have everything in the proper order or exactly how it's going to come out in the official. Plus, with the translation, we may also have some slight differences in wording as we move forward. But before we dive into the video, if you're new to the channel or even if you've been around for a bunch of episodes, we'd be absolutely honored if you'd leave us a like or even consider subscribing and leave us a comment letting us know what you thought of the video. It really helps us out and motivates us to make more content. And if you'd like to help us out in a bigger way, consider sharing your favorite video with a friend. Without further ado, let's get into these leaks. So my friends, as we dive into these leaks, the first thing that we know is that this is going to be titled as Final. The chapter opens up in an auditorium in the flower cap, where we see dozens of citizens sitting in front of a stage, listening to a story that is told by somebody referred to as Wano Kuni, while a person stands next to them dressed as a geisha playing a shamisen. The teacher is telling a story much like a Japanese poem, saying that under the dark sky of Onigashima, the storm thrives, the roar of the beast grows louder, the voice of the Azura dragon thunders, rain falls on Habu Harbor, bathing the autumn leaves. As he ends his poem, saying that they were there to avenge the loss of Kazuki Odin in his story, he is then joined on stage by the Red Scabbards. Now the crowd responds by shouting their names aloud, and then the teacher says that although they don't have much verbal talent, they'll still need to tell the story that begins on the night of the fire festival. The scene then cuts to a forest near Tokage Port in Udon, where we see Momonosuke running around in dragon form, and on top of him are Kinemon, Yamato, and Momonosuke and Kinemon are surprised by Yamato's words. Momonosuke asks in a frightened tone if Yamato is not going to go to sea with the Straw Hats, where Yamato replies that he will not. Yamato has already told the Straw Hats his new goals. Momonosuke is then surprised by Yamato's decision and wonders if he is afraid of something. But Momonosuke quickly says that he can't be the case, because Yamato has already made up his mind. Yamato goes on to say that this was his decision, that Yamato says that Odin started his journey traveling all over the country, so Yamato would do the same. And besides, Yamato doesn't know the outside world very well, so he'll follow the same path as Odin. And then one day, Yamato can set out to sea. Momonosuke gets even angrier when he hears Yamato say this because he realizes that Luffy and Yamato had already talked about all this, but Luffy didn't say goodbye to him. And Momonosuke feels that Luffy had treated him like a fool and wonders why Luffy is leaving the country without saying anything. We then see th scenes of Momonosuke remembering what had happened and what he had experienced since his father lost his life. And we see several scenes where we see Kaido grabbed him by the neck on the top of Odin Castle, the moment he met Luffy, and of course when he fought in Luffy and Dress Rosa. Next, we see the moment where they create their alliance in Zo, and then the moment where Kanjiro is kidnapped, and then we see his name where he says it in front of Kaido on Onigashima, and then the moment where Luffy asks Momonosuke to stop Onigashima for falling after fighting Kaido with his adult body. As we come back to the present, after feeling and remembering all of these scenes, Momonosuke then wonders if Luffy has a heart. So he says that Luffy is a cruel man and that he's wrong about him because he thought Luffy was different. Momonosuke says that Luffy confused rudeness with freedom, and Kinemon agrees with him and asks him why Momonosuke is running instead of flying. Momonosuke tells him to shut up. Kinemon also seems to get very angry and says that he wants to see Luffy's explanation for treating the Shogun this way. And Momonosuke says that he thought Luffy and him were friends. Yamato says that they shouldn't be so angry. Momonosuke replies that Luffy has embarrassed him and Luffy has done something unforgivable. So Momonosuke will hit and bite him the moment he sees Luffy again. The scene then moves to Tokage Port in Uda, where Luffy, Law, and Kid's ships are ready to leave. Law tells Luffy that the next time they meet, they will be enemies. And he may even go after their lives. Luffy, of course, replies as Luffy would, saying it's okay. And we next see Chopper say goodbye to Law, calling him Tarao. Law angrily looks at him and tells him to shut his mouth, leaving Chopper speechless. But just before he leaves, we see Momonosuke arrive at the shore where the pirates were, and he changes into his human form and attacks Luffy along with Yamato. Momonosuke looks at Luffy, calling for his attention, while Yamato says that he's here for Luffy. Luffy is, of course, happy and hugs them, where Sanji only holds Yamato. Now Momonosuke, still angry, tells Luffy that he found him, leaving him confused for not knowing what was going on in Momonosuke. Momonosuke's head. To add to the confusion, Kinemon draws his sword and he tells Luffy that he was thinking about leaving Wanakuni without saying goodbye to them after all the time that they had spent together, and then adds that the Shogun is furious and demands an explanation. Luffy says it's okay because they were talking now. Momonosuke looks at Luffy and orders something like the Shogun while crying uncontrollably. Momonosuke tells Luffy not to leave, that he didn't want to be alone, but Momonosuke would like Luffy to stay with them forever. Momo goes on to say that because of Luffy, everyone in Wano was able to win and can now smile because Luffy was responsible for avenging Momonosuke's parents. But the real
ideal words Momonosuke would like to say, he just cannot. But he says he fears what the future holds for the citizen of Wano. Robin, Sanji, and Brooke look at Momonosuke smiling, and Chopper gets emotional, and Frankie cries like Momonosuke. Well, Zoro just laughs and says that Momonosuke is a little embarrassing, but Nami, also getting emotional, reminds Zoro that they can't blame him because Momonosuke still is a child inside, although having an adult body. Luffy asks Usopp for something. When he takes the object, Luffy gives the gift to Momonosuke. Luffy said that he was waiting for him at the port because he wanted to give him something. Luffy says that he's still weak, but believes believes in the future that he will be stronger. And Luffy is trusting in this because he considers Momonosuke a little brother, in which he is putting all his hopes that Momonosuke will one day become a great man in the future, just like his father Odin was. Momonosuke opens the present and realizes that it is a very large flag of the Straw Hat Pirates. And Luffy goes on by saying that when Momonosuke is in a difficult situation, remember his adventurous days at sea, and then saying to put this somewhere in Wano, and if the future, some dangerous guy comes, to show it to him, to know who he is with, to tell anyone that if they put one hand on him, it means that they will fight with the Straw Hats. And as he says this, we see Luffy close by with his companions in the sunny behind him. Momonosuke continuing to cry while looking at Luffy, then asks him if he is a Straw Hat. And Luffy then answers that Kinemon, Yamato, and Momonosuke, if one day any of you decide to be a pirate, he will accept them as a crewmate. Momonosuke then thanks Luffy for his words, and then Luffy orders the crew to leave. The rest of the crew says goodbye to Momonosuke as they watch the Straw Hat crew depart. Momonosuke then tells tells Kinemon that he will surpass Kazuki Odin one day, and Kinemon tells him that he will be by his side when that moment happens. Yamato then asks quizzically if Momonosuke is talking about overcoming him. Momonosuke says no with an angry expression on his face. The scene then changes again, where we see at sea the ships of Law, Luffy, and Kid are all about to leave the limits of Wanukuni. Nami indicates that they should go to Hakuman to use the port where they can use the elevator to go down safely, and Brooke and Chopper are relieved because they climbed the dangerous waterfalls, but now can go down safely. Kid mocks the crew when he hears that they're going to use this door because it's safer. Kid says it's a decision that goes well with losers like them, and Luffy and Law are very angry to hear Kid's words. But the Straw Hats tell Luffy not to fall for Kid's provocations because there's nothing wrong with using a safe path, and the Hearts pirates say the same thing to Law. Luffy then orders Jinbei the helmsman to take the ship, and the crew tells Luffy not to do anything crazy. Next, we see the three ships falling off the Wano waterfalls, and as they fall, Luffy, Law, and Kid realize that it might not have been a good idea to go down quite like this. As they fall, the three captains shout that here we go, with huge smiles on their faces. Meanwhile, their crews are shouting that they're gonna die with frightened expressions on their faces. The scene then cuts back to the auditorium of the flower capital again, and the teacher continues telling the story, but now talks about Orochi. And when they thought that he had lost his life, his hatred made him go after Princess Hiyori. But Dendro, Kazuki Odin's number two vassal, stepped in with a clean cut, giving Orochi a final end. A thunder then rumbles above them, and so Onigashima and Kaido fell as well. The dark clouds that had covered the skies of Wanukuni for 20 years are now slowly disappearing. As the teacher tells the story, we see some panels showing what happened in Onigashima, and we see a big double page where the citizens are shouting that they were waiting for the part where the teacher tells the story about Orochi's defeat, while Hiyori said beautiful and wise words to shake Orochi. The citizens scream as Hiyori cries, remembering Odin and Orochi burning alive, and in this way, the tale of Orochi's defeat ends with the teacher talking about the resurgence of the Kazuki clan. Next, we see a picture of Momonosuke with his family and all his friends, including Hiyori, the Red Scabbards, Yamato, Shinobu, and Tama, while the narrator takes over the story. The narrator says that this is the story of how famous warriors regained their glory and did it just in time. Momonosuke, Kinemon, and Yamato go to the Shogun's castle as the people greet them, having a new mission to accomplish. Momonosuke needs to find somewhere to place the flag of the Straw Hats, but he doesn't know a good place to leave it just yet. And then, we see the curtain of this story close with the narrator's last words, saying that they were now going to take a break, and if the odds allow, we will see them again in the future. And in this way, the Wano arc comes to a close. The Straw Hats leave Wano for a new adventure in search of the last road Poneglyph, and the third act of Wano closes. And now, we enter the final saga of Oneness, where several important events still remain to happen. The many secrets that have been woven throughout the work of One Piece will now be revealed in these final arcs. So the chapter ends with cherry blossoms flying in a country finally free with a great future ahead. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of our complete
complete leaks of chapter 1057 of One Piece. And for now, I'd love to know what you think about it. What do you think is going to happen? And who do you think might actually come to try and take over Wano? You think it's going to be some other pirate or Blackbeard or the Marines? And also, what do you think is going to happen and where are the Straw Hats off to next? Let us know what you think in the comments below. But as we bring our video to an end, I want to thank you so much for watching it all the way up to the very end. Make sure you comment on any themes or ideas that you'd like to see in future videos. And also, since you made it this far, give us a like or hit that red subscribe button before you head out to take on the rest of your day. I hope to see you all in our next video, and let's keep sailing this giant sea together. Take care.